Cryptanium Capital If Ethereum ETF is approved, the best trading strategy is to buy SOL slash ETH. According to news on May 21st, Cryptanium Capital co-founder Daniel Yin posted on social media that if the Ethereum ETF is approved within two days, the mainstream trading strategy will be to buy ETH. There's really no way to argue with that, but note that ETH is up almost 20% in the last 24 hours. Additionally, Bitcoin fell 15% in the weeks following the ETF approval on January 10th. In my opinion, the best trading strategy is to buy SOL slash ETH. Hex Trust issues native stablecoin USDX on layer, one blockchain flare. Financial reports, Hong Kong crypto custodian Hex Trust announced the issuance of the first native stablecoin USDX on the layer, one blockchain flare. USDX has also become the first native stablecoin on the flare blockchain. This stablecoin is similar to the US dollar. Or assets of equal value are backed at a ratio of 1 to 1, can be used in lending protocols and exchanges, and also feature a staking mechanism for a dedicated T-pool created by the decentralized credit market Clearpool. JupyterDAO, the third phase of LFG voting will start at 1 o'clock on May 23rd and last for three days. According to news on May 21st, JupyterDAO posted on the platform that the third round of voting for Jupiter LFG will start at 1 a.m. on May 23rd. Beijing time, 1700 hours on May 22nd, UTC time, and will last for three days. Ends at 1 a.m. on March 26th. Solana on chain wallet Phantom acquires A16Z, backed Bitsky. According to financial reports, Phantom, the Solana on chain wallet, announced that it has acquired Bitsky, a wallet as a service platform supported by A16Z. As part of the transaction, Phantom will bring embedded wallet functionality to Solana. It is reported that this is Phantom's first acquisition, but the specific amount is temporarily unavailable. Not disclosed.